Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Brush and I make indie games for a living. I want to show you how you can make a game really fast. This is a 10 minute tutorial. Now admittedly this took me a total of 30 minutes but I cut it down for you. But this is a 10 minute tutorial on how you can make a beautiful 3D game, a story game, with no models, not a single model. We're just going to use spheres and cylinders that are built into Unity, right? So they're not actually models, they're just the actual shapes that Unity includes the terrain tool, and just a few colors that are strategically chosen, okay? And by the way guys, I wanted to let you know that my brand new course, Easy 3D, is totally free right now. Click below to enroll for free and you'll immediately be taken to the program where you're gonna learn how to make your very first 3D game. And here's the best part, you're gonna do it fast. And you really don't need to know anything about Unity or code or 3D modeling. It's really kinda easy and it's totally free. Click below to make your very first 3D game. I can't wait to see you succeed. All right, so here is my Unity project. I've set it up, and basically, I have a first-person controller from the Unity Asset Store. It is right here. This is the controller we're using, totally free. The link is below, modular first-person controller. So go ahead and install that in Unity. The way you're gonna do that is go to Window, Package Manager, and you should see the modular first person controller. And this is after you've obviously pressed open in Unity. And then you'll just install that and it should show up in your folder. What I've also got here is I've got textures, brown, dark green, green, and white. Just a few very simplistic textures. We'll talk about those textures while we're using them. And then also what I've got is some scripts. Actually, just one script here called Voice Over Trigger. This is one that I like to use a lot in my games. Go ahead and click below to check out that trigger. Um, and you can copy and paste it into your project. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna do is drag in my character controller. I'm gonna zero his position out. Then I'm also gonna create a new terrain in game object, 3D object, terrain, very good. So let's go ahead and start painting some texture. I'm gonna to go to this terrain over here, this in the inspector. I'm gonna to go to paint texture. And I'm gonna edit terrains and then I'm gonna create a layer. And this is going to be a green layer. I'm gonna use the green pixel texture, or I guess it's really just a color. And that's right here. If we double click on this, you'll notice that in Photoshop is a one by one pixel green colored image. That's all it is. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back into Unity. We can see that it's automatically filled it in. I'm gonna make sure I turn on shaded wireframe so that I can actually see the terrain here. Then I'm also gonna create a cube. The reason I'm gonna create a cube is because I wanna be able to see, I'm gonna zero its position. I wanna be able to see its scale as relative to the scale of the actual terrain. The reason why is because a cube generally should be about half the height of your character controller, okay? So this gives us an idea of how big a path should be, all right? So let's go ahead and move this maybe a little bit over so that we're not on the edge. I'm gonna press F so I can focus in on it. And then I'm gonna move it to about right here. So this is about where the player is gonna start. Um, I'm gonna copy all of these positions here and I'm gonna paste them on the actual character controller so that we're right next to the cube, okay? I'm gonna press F and focus on the character controller. Let's move the cube over. We're gonna keep this here, and now we can start painting a path. So the path should be about double the size of that cube. So I'm gonna to go to paint texture here. I'm gonna to go to my new green layer here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna create a new layer, and it's gonna be a brown color here. So there it is. And I'm just gonna start painting that texture, okay? This is gonna be our path, all right? All right, so we've got a path, we've got some terrain. Very good, doesn't look too bad actually. Next thing I wanna do is make sure that my skybox inside of the first person controller is set to the right color. So I want it to be a color, a solid color. And then I also want it to be sort of a teal color. So I'm gonna make sure I turn off the skybox here because I don't wanna see it in the scene view. I'm gonna go to game view and take a look here. I really like that color, that looks awesome. But let's make it a little bit lighter. There we go, there, there we go. So it's kind of like a stormy um, sky. Then I'm gonna go to my fog. You go to window, rendering, lighting. Click on environment here. I'm gonna make sure I drag this over here. There we go. And we're gonna change the, we're gonna turn on the fog. So tick the checkbox here. Then I'm gonna select this color here, 
but I want to do it a little bit darker so there's almost a little bit of a, a shade to the mountains. There we go, that looks great. Okay, now we can go ahead and start digging into the ground, but it's really hard to see because we're seeing fog in the scene view, so I want to make sure I turn that off as well. There we go. So the fog isn't going to show up in the scene view. Now let's go ahead and select our terrain here. I'm going to go to raise or lower terrain and I'm going to lower this terrain by holding shift. But you'll notice it doesn't happen. That's because we need to raise up the terrain first because we're at the lowest point the terrain can be. So I'm going to change the brush size pretty high and then the opacity is going to be 6.7. I'm going to increase it. There we go. So we're raising up the entire terrain and now we can actually dig down. The reason we're gonna dig down here is because it makes it look the makes the terrain look like it's an actual path, okay? So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Hold shift here. And then we're gonna go ahead and increase the size of our brush to be pretty big here. And then we're gonna go ahead and set smooth terrain. There we go. Smooth height is really what it's called. And then we're just gonna click, there we go which is really fun. And now the, the path is actually dug into the terrain. So it automatically looks a little bit more realistic. Pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and raise up our terrain all around the player. All right, I'm skydiving down. Sweet, looks great, I really, really like it. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and add in some trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new 3D object and it's gonna be a um, cylinder, okay? We're gonna scale up this cylinder significantly so that it goes all the way into the sky. And we, we're not gonna really worry about the top of the cylinder, believe it or not, okay? So it doesn't need to be that big. Maybe about like that. Um, I'm gonna drag in my dark brown material onto the cylinder here. And now I'm gonna create a prefab, prefab out of this. I'm gonna call this tree. I'm gonna drag this into the game or into the uh, project view. Now I've got this tree here and I can just drag the tree all over the place. Awesome, that looks really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, trees are done. Next thing I wanna do is stones, okay? So if we're gonna do a stone, we're gonna do a 3D object, it's gonna be a sphere. I'm gonna scale it up. And same thought process as we had with the trees, right? Play here, you can kinda of see what I'm going for. See that? Isn't that cool? I really like how that looks. Okay, we're almost done with the terrain. Let's go ahead and add some grass, okay? Some actual grass blowing in the wind. So I have a white pixel here in my uh, textures folder. It's called, well, it's called white. So if I select my terrain here and go to paint details, I can actually add a grass texture. I can click this little circle here and I'm gonna select the white texture. I'm gonna type white. There it is, double click it. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the grass is sort of a darker green. So I'm gonna choose the two colors we can choose from here. Uh, maybe make one a little bit darker and then the other one, I actually wanna go a little bit more vibrant. I found that if you're gonna do grass using the, the paint grass tool here, a vibrant green is probably your best bet. The minimum width, so that we're not doing a square here, is gonna be 0.2, and then the max width is gonna be something like 0.6. The max height is gonna be one, the minimum height is gonna be 0.4, and we're gonna do billboard. Um, actually, we're not gonna do billboard. We're gonna turn billboard off and click add, and now we can go ahead and paint these textures here. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and record some random lines here. I have no idea what this story is, but we're gonna come up with something. I woke up in a dream world. Everything around me was beautiful, but simple. <laughs> 
So file, export, selected audio, and I'm just gonna save this in a sound folder. It's gonna be audio one. Uh, let's go to uh, export audio, selected audio. This is gonna be called audio two, okay? Same with this one here, this is gonna be audio three. I realized. Export selected audio, we're gonna do audio three here. All right, last line. That's gonna be audio four, okay? All right, so what we do is we wait for these to import inside of Unity. We're gonna create very simplistic box triggers. So I'm just gonna go 3D object cube, scale up this cube significantly, remove the mesh renderer from the cube and the cube mesh filter. We've got a box collider, set it to trigger is true, and then we're just gonna drag in that script, voice over trigger, very good. The audio source does not exist yet, so we're gonna create a new audio source um, in an empty game object. Okay, there it is. Let's make sure we name this properly. This is called the audio or voiceover. Okay, and then this is voiceover trigger. Let's make sure we make a prefab out of the voiceover trigger. Very good. And where does the player start? He starts over here, I think, right? Yeah. So we pull that over and we put the voiceover trigger here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag in that voiceover audio source. And then the audio clip is gonna be this one here, audio one. And I'm gonna take this voiceover trigger and I'm just gonna move it slowly. So we'll do over here. So first the player comes over here, they're gonna get audio two, and then we're gonna do it again. One over here, okay? They're gonna get audio three, and then they come over here at the end. And this is gonna be audio four, all right? There we go. So that should be good to go. Let's go ahead and head on over to, this is gonna sound really strange, I know, but let's go over to newgrounds.com because oddly enough, Newgrounds has, and it's an old website, guys, but they have some great audio here. Yeah, let's, let's download this. Kinda sounds like Minecraft, I like it. And then let's go to freesound.org and we're gonna save our ambience. So we're gonna do uh, forest, okay? That sounds great, let's go ahead and save it. So let's go ahead and go to um, game object, audio, audio source, and we're gonna go ahead and um, have it set to loop, and then we're gonna put the theme in there, very good, and then we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna put the uh, ambience as well. Now you wanna make sure that you drag over your scene, there it is, drag it into the scenes and build, and go ahead and click build. Let's go ahead and play our game. I woke up in a dream world. Everything around me was beautiful, but simple. The world around me was just simple squares, spheres, and there was just a very simple terrain. It's beautiful. He did it so fast. It is beautiful, Thomas. Good job. As I came to the end of my dream, I realized I wish I could stay in Thomas's world forever. There you go. <laughs> All right, so obviously, guys, very, very simple game here. Uh, very si like silly, simple story, and not any mechanics here. But honestly, if you wanted to upload this game to itch.io, you could, you could officially say, all right, I got my first game done. That's over with. Move on to your second game, right? And you guys know I'm a big fan of releasing crappy games. And honestly, this looks pretty good for a game with no models, uh, no textures, very simplistic graphics but we've taken advantage of pretty much everything we can to make these simple graphics look beautiful all right guys if you like this video if you want to see more videos like this more indie game development videos subscribe leave a comment and leave a like and also just remember you can join my free program totally free program it's called easy 3d and it's similar to this tutorial but a little bit more in depth and we're going to use actual models to make a beautiful 3d game with a few mechanics all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Cheers.